Good morning, Stitch Roadies. Well, if you're new, welcome, welcome to our stitching time together in the beehive. I have been spending a lot of time thinking about how I'm reorganizing. You can um, take a closer look at the beehive on the next Quilt Roadie video. I have been organizing. Yes, I was inspired by the video that I did at AKA Van Mom on Instagram and I still am feeling that need to, um, maybe it's, I don't know about you, but maybe when summer kind of tips over to August and I could almost think about fall, it makes me want to do something, do something in my crafting life. And so I have been feeling that. I've been blessed in that I have so many people that are willing to share um, their crafting life. And so I get all kinds of inspiration and ideas and I am all about it right now. <clears throat> Can't you just feel it? Can you believe it's the end of July? We are in a week-long, what do they call it, a heat dome? Yeah, it is in the 90s and hundreds, low hundreds. And, uh, you know, although the Portland area hits 100 during the summer sometime, it doesn't go for this many days. <clears throat> and... Um, yeah, so I've been spending my mornings out in my backyard stitching because it's still um, somewhat cool. It's like in the 70s, and and so I enjoy that time uh, listening to the water, watching the birds, and stitching away. And then the sun gets a little bit too high up in the sky, and I have to shut all the blinds on on that side of my house to keep the heat down. But in the beehive, the beehive is on the opposite side of where the sun comes across. So the sun never shines in the beehive windows. So I am able to keep those blinds open and enjoy um, the view of Scouters Mountain. It is lovely. It is lovely right now, especially with a heat pump or air conditioning. <laughs> yeah. Um, so what have I been doing? I have been stitching quite a bit. I am part of the Fat Quarter Shop. Um, I chose to participate in the Letters to Santa Sal that the Fat Quarter Shop is having. And I am telling you, if you have not already jumped on board, you're going to want to do this stitch. It is so adorable. I, on the other hand, did not care for the chalkboard uh, fabric. I, I've never been attracted to that uh, that look, and so I changed mine to fiber on a whim um, night sky. And so this is um, we have one more one more uh, release to finish up this stitch. But is that not absolutely adorable? And I have to say, I love the night sky. Yeah. I am loving the night sky. I feel like um, I have several, you know how you have those deadlines. I do a lot of stitching and quilting, not just for myself, but as um, presents for family and friends. And, and so I have a lot of these dates in the future that I want to get done. And so that is kind of pushing me in certain directions. So I have been working a bit on, uh, quite regularly, it's been my evening stitch, um, Dr. Maya Angelou, um, the Salty Stitcher Designs, and I'll put these links in the drop-down box. So when you look at the front page of the floss, um, you know, stitch roadies, there's a little kind of 
tag there that says more and if you click on that a drop down box opens up and I put all the links I remember <laughs> to put in there so that you can just click on um, any of the links that I'm talking about or the places I'm talking about and go to their site. I just knew when I saw this um, quote by Dr. Maya um, that was created by the Salty Stitcher Designs. I've learned that people will forget what you said. People will forget what you did. But people will never forget how you made them feel. So true. So true. I, I just love this, and I knew my sister would love it. And so I uh, decided that this was going to be the stitch that I would do for her birthday. So I've been working on that. And some of you have been asking about the double hoop that I received from the Cotton Harvest in um, Ontario. And the reason I I am totally in love with the Morgan hoops, um, they're lightweight. They lock the fabric in um, in such a way that it doesn't slip or get loose over time. But you can make it as tight or as loose as you want. And because I tend to be a... Um, I tend to use the sewing method a lot. I want that um, that fabric to be loose enough that I can push up and down because I always keep one finger, my hand, down below and I'm pushing this fabric up ever so slightly so that I can do the sewing method. And I sit this on my stitching pillow so that it is even closer to my eyes. <laughs> so that i am got one hand down below. And the reason I have one hand down below and I'm doing this sewing method is because I can then feel when I've got a knot. You know how we do that sometimes. Um, and the sewing method, what that means is that I'm not making a cross with each stitch. I am going across with one leg and then coming back with the other leg. And that's the sewing method. Now there is a thought process that when you do that with um, uh, hand dyed or variegated threads that you get this kind of stripy look. And I suppose that is a fact. I've not found it to be where I'm totally disturbed by it. So I continue with my sewing method as much as I can. And I love having just a little bit of play and that I can feel the back when I feel, oh, I've got a knot created before you get, you know, you get 10 stitches over and then you realize you have a knot and you have to unpick or you have to figure out, you know, yeah. I don't like knots on the back of mine. Um, and then I have bought my own package of these little rubber magnetic holders so that it holds the excess fabric, plus it doubles as a needle minder. And that was gifted, originally gifted to me by Audrey Stitchy Witch 42, which is a girlfriend on and has her own floss tube channel. And so, um, the other thing I, I can't uh, I can't show it to you, but um, the other thing I do is because I have when I'm sitting in my stitching chair, uh, I have the Brightech magnifying lamp, and I'm finding that I do need that magnifier to double check. I don't need it to stitch, but every so often I something goes on with my eyes or. Um, I can feel that something doesn't seem right, and I use the magnifier on that Brightech lamp um, to double check things. But the arm of the lamp that kind of hangs over, 
I use one of these magnetic <laughs> magnetic uh, holders to magnetize the chart to my lamp. So I literally, when I'm stitching, I have the pattern right here hanging so that I can look and count and look and count and stitch. And so it's quite an interesting contraption. I've just kind of, you, you kind of have to jury rig your own um, way of accomplishing your stitching. Now, the other thing I can say about this double, this double stand, I use both the single Morgan uh, hoops and this double one. And the double one, you know, this is a smaller circle than this. So depending on the size of the project that I have, sometimes I'll have it like this and my stitching will be up here. It's just very versatile. It's just very versatile. And since this was a little bigger surface I wanted, I used the larger side size uh, side of it, and then the smaller one sits on my lap. So I am working, I am almost across the, um, let's see here. I'm almost across the top, see? And then once I get totally across the top, then I will start on the script. Yeah, and it's lovely. And this um, fabric that I'm using is it's a very, very pale green. And um, oh, my needle came unthreaded. That's okay. I'll just bring it around here. So it's a very pale green, and it's a um, Joblin 28 count star sapphire that I picked up at Stitchville, USA, in Minnesota. So isn't that lovely? And that's really, that really shows the color correctly. Very, very sweet. So that is becoming a very focused, um, because I do want to frame that one. So that is becoming a very focused stitch to get done for a, a birthday this year. What else? Okay, so let's see. I fell off of my prairie schooler. Uh, not that I, um, you know, I still have that mantra going in my head uh, where you uh, finish a prairie schooler, you start a prairie schooler. I'm I'm all about that. But I fell off of doing the Prairie Schooler every morning when uh, our family, uh, how do I, how do, what's the best word for this? The family pattern of life changed uh, where it was, um, there was a change when our youngest son and his family were staying here and um, their lives had a certain pattern and our lives had a certain pattern which kept me stitching not much early morning stitching because the grandsons were here so I kind of fell out of that pattern of stitching on a prairie schooler every morning every morning which slowed the whole process down now the prairie schooler that I'm currently that I had currently started was the one from 1996 and it's this one But, as suggested by um, one of Stitch Roadies, uh, that there was a Prairie Schooler Santa that had a um, fish. And I think I had actually already done that, but it was gifted. And on August 11th is the full sturgeon moon. And I have been keeping track of what the full moon is called and doing uh, a stitch that reflected what that full moon was called. I know, it's these games we play. Isn't it funny? It's like, okay, how can I get myself to do something that I don't really know if I can or want to do, but hmm, yeah. When you have, um, 
When you have some challenges to how your brain processes things, you figure out all kinds of little games to play with yourself. And so this calendar that I have states every month what the full moon is called. And I have been paying attention and trying to um, mostly have a stitch that's already started in my whip pile that can be picked up because of that full moon, if that makes any sense to you. But um, this month, August, August's full moon is called the full sturgeon moon. And I just kind of went, okay, a fish. And so when I put it out on floss tube the first time, well, it's a full, full sturgeon moon next month, I was, uh, I latched on to, to one of the comments that said, oh, there's a prairie school or Santa that has fish. And I think I already stitched it, but gifted it away, so I don't uh, have it. And so I'm stitching it again. And it is this one here. I love that. I'm pretty sure I already stitched it. But it's a fun stitch, anyway. And the full sturgeon moon is because the giant sturgeons of the Great Lakes and Lake Champlain were most readily caught during this part of summer. Who knew? I mean, there's so much education in these uh, things on calendars. It's just so fun. So... <clears throat> That will be started on August 11th, if any of you want to, st to participate in the full stu sturgeon moon stitch. <laughs> I am not making a hashtag about that. And talking about hashtags, please, please join my hashtag on Instagram. I have been having the most enjoyable time looking at what everyone is doing when they hashtag it to hashtag love my stitch sal. It's a sal that has no rules. There's, we are not stitching one project. We do not have uh, any rules about how much has to be done nothing like that. It's just a fun, and boy, have I been enabled. It is great. So anytime you're stitching on, on whatever beautiful project you're stitching on, just hashtag it to my, love my stitch, Sal, and I'll put that in the drop down box. So I joined <laughs> another group. Um, there's a group on uh, Facebook, um, Melanie Watkins, who I just love, um, I, you know how you feel like you connect to, uh, either a voice or a cadence to a floss tube, um, I don't know, it's just, I, I've always loved her floss tube, and, um, her floss tube was call, is called the Soulful Planning Stitcher, and she today uh, started a Facebook group that was called Cross Stitch 25-7, and the only rule to that is that you, seven days a week, so that's the commitment. That's the commitment for me. Seven days a week, you're either going to do 25 stitches or 25 minutes, whatever you want. So you can go back and forth. You can just say, okay, I'm only going to do, I only have time for 25 stitches. Because does 25 stitches take you 25 minutes? I got to figure that one out. But... Um, it's mainly to, uh, as I understand it, and really it's the very beginning, as I understand it, it's mainly to get that big project going. And you know which project I'm talking about. 
them trees, them trees, them trees, them trees. So that is my project for Melanie's 25-7. So I either every day will decide 25 stitches or 25 minutes. And hopefully I can keep that up. Now when we're camping, I will I might have to have a backup project for it because I won't take the trees camping. It's just too much opportunity for it to get dirty. Um, yeah, so I'll have two that I'm going to designate. One that will, and I have whips, <laughs> so one that will be, and I'll just, I'm, 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 my brain is going like this. Okay, so I'm going to have two projects for the 25-7. At home, it's going to be the trees. Camping, it's going to be another one. And I'll have to look through my whips on which one would make a good travel project that I would like to make headway on. Yes. That's what I'm going to... And that's... The, yes, I... Uh, nobody's the boss of me. You hear me, Melanie? <laughs> She's such a sweetheart. <laughs> she, yeah, she's such a sweetheart. Okay. Some exciting news. Exciting. Downright exciting news. Acorns and Threads is having their first Saturday Spotlight designer in their new annex space and I am telling you that annex space is awesome I mean space to stitch fabulous lighting a bathroom a water cooler samples on the wall and shopping right next door Yes, and Beth Twist is going to be the first of the Saturday Spotlight Stitchers, which Janine is going to be doing kind of on a regular basis. You have to sign up. Of course, I panicked when Julie uh, sent me a text, and I had, told, I had it on my calendar, but I totally spaced it. Uh, what else is new? Um, so my friend Julie texted me, did you, did you see this? And I went, yes, I have it on my calendar. I think you have to sign up. And then I panicked, and I called the shop. Of course, they were. I called during closed hours, and I left a message, and I was like in this state. And then I thought, oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute, maybe I need to go on the website and sign up. Yeah, I have to go on the website and sign up. So I did. And because we're, we have a lot of different activities going on, you know, uh, G's whole life doesn't revolve around my cross stitch. What? Um, it's on the August um, 13th? No. Yes. <laughs> you got to go on the website. It's two different days, and you can sign up for both days. But I signed up for the Saturday because we have something going on the next day. And um, I hope I see some of you there. It's going to be uh, amazing because what's not to love about Beth Twist? I mean, I love all her designs. And it's in the annex at the Acorns and Threads. Yeah, so if you want to participate, be sure you go on that website. And I'll put the link in the drop-down box. Yes, I will. Um, yeah, so that's my, that's my updated news. Other than, oh, no, I have some more here. I am also starting, I had received some information from the Fat Quarter Shop about some upcoming sales that they're doing. And um, there was one that piqued my interest. And so I, I joined that sal. And you can join that sal also, which starts in August. 
So right coming up, you still have time to join. And it kind of, the reason I wanted to do it, I mean, I know I'm making excuses. Why do I need another project? Of course I do, because not only do I need some embellishment to one of my Yazzie bags. Yeah, I don't like plain Yazzie bags. Um, this kind of combined my quilting and stitching together and it's called You Are the Boss. Now you do not have to use the script because with the order of the pattern you get a free um, chart of all the letters uppercase and lowercase for this. So you could actually make your own script inside of this stitch. But this is a, by Lori Holt of Be In My Bonnet Company, being featured by the Fat Quarter Shop. You are the boss. And just look at that. Is that not adorable? It's all the quilt blocks. I mean, I really, I, I really couldn't pass it up. How fun. And you know my points are going to match perfectly. <laughs> so I decided to go ahead and do this. So if you are interested in this, just go on the Fat Quarter Shot site, link in the drop-down box, and um, sign up and we'll do this together. I'm still not sure whether... I'm going to use this exact script. My inclination is to change it to you are the boss of your own stitch. Only because if I use it on the front of my Yazzie bag, it is not just used for quilting, it's used for stitching, cross stitching, Sue Spargo stitching, all kinds of stitching. So I like that the opportunity to make it more personalized. Getting towards the next month and I was sitting in my stitching chair stitching away on the Dr. Maya stitch and I was looking at my rack of um, kitted up yeah I have a rack of kitted up projects that haven't been started. And I saw one that I thought, I really need to do that one. And it's a Brenda Gervais, What's Not to Love. It's not huge, but it's on um, 36 count. So it's going to be little. But I just really wanted to do it. So it's this one here. So that's going to be um, a start in August. That's going to be a start in August. And this is on um, Edinburgh Linen 36 count light mocha uh, that I got at Acorns and Threads. Yeah, I'm going to be doing that. And then if you don't remember, Acorns and Threads does do framing, as do all the craft box stores. Um, what they don't do at Acorns and Threads is use glass. So if you want to use glass, you're really going to have to go somewhere else. Um, but, oh, I just love their framing. And there's nothing um, better than knowing that the person doing the framing understands how to frame cross stitch. That's that's the thing. But I got my gobble back and I am so tickled with it. I absolutely love the frame I picked. I'm so proud of myself. I cannot tell you how proud I am of myself. I mean I've been patting myself on the back for ever since I received it. But look at this.
is that just not perfect? Yeah. Yep. Happy, 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 happy. And that's the thing. You know, we do these, um, we do these holiday themed stitches, but you kind of want to just hang them up year round. I know whenever I finish that Christmas Quaker, it's staying up year round. I'm sorry. That much work, it is not getting packed away. Not getting packed away. Well, okay, I think I've done it. I think I've gone through the whole list I had in my sweet little brain, and now it's your turn to tell me what you're up to. And stay tuned at the end of this video, because then the winner of the $35 gift card from the Fat Quarter Shop, I'll post the name right. Or... G will post the name. Who am I kidding? <laughs> oh, thank you so much for stopping by. And if you're new, thank you for hanging out with us. I hope we see you again. Keep stitching. Find that peace. Because, boy, that's what stitching brings to me, is peace. Thank you, guys. Love you.